Hey guys, I'm Adam Crossway for Cricket Mentoring. I just wanted to take you guys through some uh, drills that we can do in, I guess, small confined spaces to keep working on, uh, on your craft. Remember, the three main things, so we're keeping your head, your hands and your feet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a couple of drills. Uh, I've got my balls, got my trusty assistant. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a juggling drill. You can start with uh, two to start with. I'll put that in my pocket. Uh, Essentially, we're going to catch with our left hand, transfer to our right, and we go in a circular motion as such. So in here, we get low into our power position, make sure that we're low, we're catching, and then we can go the other way. So we turn, go the opposite way, and then to make things really difficult, we go and get a third ball, and we make sure that we've got three. So we go back to the original side. One, two, three. As you can notice, we've got different balls. We've got a red one, an orange one, and a tennis ball. Feel different, they're different weights. Uh, that obviously works to make sure that we confuse ourselves a little bit. Next drill I wanna take you to, so that, that juggling drill, we make sure that we always do that at the start of training. What it does, it gets you your volume up, and it really makes you catch a lot of balls early in the session, and as I said, different weighted balls, different size balls uh, can really help us out. Second drill, short catches, uh, tennis racket, tennis ball. Again, power position, soft hands, hands out in front. Just on the half volley, we catch, staying low, staying in our power position, like so. Really trying to burn the legs here. Um, there's a lot of pain that goes in weird keeping and getting in that power position, so really training that. We wanna be good and we wanna be keeping well at six o'clock, just as we are at uh, 11 o'clock. So from here, we're gonna to go to essentially a bounce drill with a cricket ball. Uh, again, power position, this is replicating throws coming in from the outfield or maybe a ball that's up to the stumps, uh, kicking off a meter or two in front of you, getting in your power position, uh, and then taking the ball as such. Making sure that our hand and our head are always in line and our feet can take us to that position. as such. So that's another good one. Uh, the, the next one that we want to talk about is our footwork when we're opening up. When the ball gets on the outside of our body, we want to make sure that if it is to our left hand side, that we're able to, from our power position, open up this foot, really important. If this foot stays closed, our body, we get locked in and we can't go anywhere. We need to make sure that we open up with that foot so that we can then Position our body, take our head to it, like so. And we go to the right, same again. Open up that foot. Again, just something quick that we can work on. And essentially, the last drill I like to do before we train at every training session is up to the stumps. Being up to the stumps, we're gonna make sure that we're not too close to the stumps. Getting our setup is really, really important. For me, I use two feet back from off stump, mark a line, and then I mark a line on the back of off stump. So that's where, that intersection is where I keep my foot down in my crouch, and essentially from here, just wanting to get myself coming up with the ball. My head and my hands are always in line. And down the leg side, we go across. Again, my feet take my head and my hands. But with this, I'm really trying to make sure that with anything, my head, my hands are in line and my feet take me to there. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, these are just a couple of quick drills that you can do. You don't need much space. You don't need any weather, <laughs> repeatable. Catch the ball in the middle, and remember, if you need any help, reach out to Cricket Mentoring. We'll see you soon.